Hey, basketball fans! Welcome back to Beyond Basketball, where we delve into the fascinating world of NBA fashion and the unique styles that have left a lasting impact on the court. In today's video, we're exploring some of the forbidden fashion statements that NBA players attempted to make, only to face league restrictions. The NBA has had its fair share of fashion fouls, so let's jump right in. 1. Ninja headbands during the 2019 NBA season. A group of players, including Jimmy Butler, Drew Holiday, Mike Scott, Montrezl, Harold Carlanthony Towns, and Jared Allen, sparked a fashion craze by donning ninja-style headbands. Not only did these headbands hold their hair in place, but they also added a stylish flair to their on-court looks. Unfortunately, the NBA swiftly banned these headbands for the 2020 season, citing safety concerns and the lack of league approval. Despite appeals from players and fans, the ninja headband trend faded away, never to be seen again on the NBA hardwood. 2. Black carbon fiber mask facial injuries are an unfortunate reality in basketball, leading players like Rip Hamilton to embrace protective masks. However, superstars LeBron James Kobe Bryant and Kyrie Irving took it a step further by sporting black carbon fiber masks, reminiscent of the iconic Batman. The NBA, not fond of this unconventional trend, promptly requested players to switch back to traditional clear masks once they became available. True to the league's request, players adapted, proving that even the biggest stars couldn't defy the NBA fashion rules. 3. Brand logos anywhere in 2013? Iman Shumpert's distinctive box-style haircut featured the logo of sports apparel brand Adidas. The league wasn't pleased, and Shumpert quickly abandoned the logo-infused hairstyle. Fast forward to 2017, and Junior. Smith and Kelly Oubre pushed the envelope by donning compression sleeves, bearing the logo of the lifestyle brand Supreme. Smith even took it a step further, tattooing the Supreme logo on his right leg. The NBA, however, maintained its stance on commercial logos, allowing only shoes to bear brand insignias. Even point guard Lonzo Ball was asked to cover up a tattoo featuring his family brand, Big Baller Brand. It's clear that when it comes to logos, the NBA plays by its own set of rules. And there you have it, folks. The NBA, with its rich history of iconic fashion moments, also has its fair share of fashion bands. From the rise and fall of ninja headbands to the sleek transition from black carbon fiber masks to clear ones, and the prohibition of brand logos anywhere except on shoes, the league remains a guardian of its unique image. Which fashion foul surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing insights into the world of NBA fashion.